Educated Animal Agriculture. My name is Karen Preston. Where did animal agriculture originate? Animal agriculture had a large portion of it start in Southwest Asia with sheep, goats, pigs, dogs, and cattle, as well as in Southeast Asia had chickens and cattle. South America had llamas and alpacas, where in North America, turkeys. Domestication of animals occurred when people became less nomadic. Animals were used to plow the land. In return, these animals were given a portion of the harvest, and eventually other parts of the animals started to become valued, such as their milk and eggs. Starting during the mid-20th century, poultry became automated. The group quickly evolved to include all main meat bird species, including ducks and turkeys, that was rapidly embraced by the pig industry. This started a revolution. This revolution, of course, created the need for advanced infrastructures, including support infrastructures for such things as feed storage and delivery, water quality control, supply and distribution, artificial lighting, and enhanced environmental control access on a broad expanse of climactic zones. The term most commonly used today, of course, is factory farming. Like any factory, farms also have environmental impacts. Such impacts include the fact that farm animals produce approximately 130 times as much excrement as the entire human population. Runoff from animal waste, including things like pesticides, chemicals, hormones, and antibiotics, are contributing to dead zones in coastal areas that cause degradation of coral reefs as well as health problems. Excrement also produces toxic gases such as hydrogen sulfide and ammonia that is released into the air we breathe. Roughly 80% of ammonia emissions in the United States is from animal waste. Think about the next, that the next time you take a deep breath. Animals on farms also use a staggering 30% of Earth's landmass. Deforestation has taken place to allow more room to grow more animals. Resources that are being used to currently feed our animals could instead feed the mal or undernourished people of our planet. What exactly is Vegetated? Vegetated follows three people for six weeks on one challenge as they become vegan. What is vegan, you may ask? The Webster Dictionary defines vegan as a strict vegetarian who consumes no animal food or dairy products, also one who abstains from using any animal products themselves, such as leather, wool, and even cosmetics that were tested on animals. These meat and cheese loving New Yorkers accept the challenge to go vegan. While doing so, they undercover hidden sides of animal agriculture, and they truly believe in the end that they can change the world one bite at a time. Some of the vegan slogans I've found have all said, for the animal, for the environment, for your health. I hope this has helped to educate you a little bit more.